All right, today I'm going to uh, plot out the uh, figures for the horse piece that I'm working on. A human head is about a third of a horse's head. So, I'm going to mark off. Now, the horse that he's sitting on is a, a bit sway backed. This is a Packy War Horse. This is a, a beautiful horse. I mean, I, this horse I've I've uh, been you know using in in photo shoots from the 1991 until about 90, uh, 2006 when this picture was uh, taken. Anyway, um, normally, you know, if he was up at the right level, his shoulders would be even to the top of the uh, horse's head as it's raised up, and that's a uh, general rule too that you can go by. And that's the one I'm going to go by. So if we put the shoulders from the butt to the shoulders right there, top of the head, and uh, we go shoulders, let's see, shoulders right there, and his butt right there. Alright, I'm just going to draw a line. And uh, the distance between the base of the uh, chin of the character would be uh, about a half a head from the center line of the uh, shoulder. And so that would put the other uh, part of the head measurement there. And I'm thinking I might be too big here. So we'll just check this out. One, two, three, and four. A little short. That's okay. And uh, the width of the, lay, the uh, hip to the femur is about a head length as well. But that's up here about, well, maybe a half a head length. Hmm. And that's where that measurement would be. I'm going to stick with this measurement. So... Let's see if this works out. Yeah, it does. Um, and see, this is the old head from the uh, mountain man that I did on the back of the horse, and it works out perfectly right there. So, it kind of work out the, the uh, proportions from there. I'm going to subtract for clay, so I'm going to go back to maybe a quarter of a uh, head, maybe an eighth of a head, whatever it is. And then it's two heads from the femur to the knee. And another two heads for the bottom of the feet, which I goes off the page. All right. Okay, that's going to be his, uh, the standing Indian's lower part, or upper part here. And I'm going to go from there, the shoulder, to the femur. I'm going to have to turn this around. And then... Take some electrician's tape and uh, keep these two halves together. Bend that over. And I want to. So 
I'm going to just bend it at the uh, knee. That gives me that uh, point of reference. Now, baling wire is just a uh, kind of wire that you can get at the uh, hardware store. Got it there and there. I right, just want to anchor that to the frame. The shoulders are two heads wide. And that's uh, right about there. Subtracting for clay. And then uh, the elbow would be just about where the bottom of the rib cage is, which is three heads down. The uh, groin is right here. And so the wrist would come down to just where the groin is, and then the fingers would come down to mid thigh. That's generally how it's done. Okay, I'm just trying to work out the uh, positioning of the gentleman in relation to his horse. How apropos to have a storm coming in while I'm working on a storm piece. <laughs> okay. What I'm trying to do is, is position his arm to where he's holding on to the very base of the uh, rope, rope rein, which should be through the jaw of the horse, and this hand here holding on to the rope itself. while trying to stay out of the way of his feet. But he's also being affected by the wind too. think I know what I'm doing, you don't. I, you're wrong, I don't. Just sort of plugging along here trying to see what this looks like once I get the design. Too close. There we go. You don't want his body going into the body of the horse, so you got to keep him far enough away. Cut away some of that clay. Put the head armature right there. And I'm not going to tape that in because I'm going to want to take that head off and work on it separately, I think, at some point. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor it by using some clay. 
I gotta figure out how I'm gonna work on this figure separately from the horse because it's gonna be hard to work on the underside of them. I'm gonna set him aside right now. Get this out of the way. I think what I'm going to do is cut this off at the, at the shoulder. Push it down just a little bit further. Okay, there we go. Cut off the shoulder. Just so that I've got uh, support for the clay. It's going on his back. I'm just cutting off the knee right there. Thank you. 